Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes channel. I'm going to remove right now this valve cover uh, from this OM603 turbo diesel engine. So if you want to see how it's done, you can follow me right now. This part of intake is in my way for lifting that valve cover. So I will remove that right now. I will remove one, two, and three hex bolt and it's a tool number five. Releasing these three bolts. I already had it off once so I made sure they are not over tight. See it's very easy. No problem. I put some entices on them previously so this is it. This is very easy. I love it. Don't lose the gasket which is right here when you are removing it so pay attention that you don't drop it. See it right here and nicely carefully without damaging anything I will lift up the whole assembly. I already clean everything around that valve cover and the gasket which is there. So all I have to do right now using the socket number 10 I have to undo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bolts. Of course I keep everything nicely organized. The next step is disconnect this hose, ventilation hose. But I know this plastic can be pretty fragile because it's exposed to the heat. So I rather disconnect it right here, down here. It's way easier than breaking this part. And I should be ready to lift the valve cover without any problems of the engine. And it's true. Oh yeah, the gasket is a little bit glued to the engine, but it's okay. I'm just careful, I don't want to drop anything in the motor. And not make any mess. And here we go. This is the valve cover. This is the valve cover gasket. Voila! And we are awarded with that beautiful OM606 valve train. Everything on the first look seems to be perfect. I don't see any damages. Everything is clean, the oil is everywhere, no scratching. Seems to be just right. And of course always make sure you don't drop anything in exposed engine like this. Ideally you cover it as soon as possible, even the dust which is in the air is not good for it. And actually the reason I removed that valve cover is that I will be testing these hydraulic valve tappets which are underneath that camshaft. You can see them down there a little bit, right? So, uh, I don't know if they work correctly or they are the source of the noise. I will be testing them, but that will be part of another video. So, please stay tuned because I have way more videos coming your way. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.